Hi, my fellow queens. I'm so glad you're back. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I'm Leora for everybody who is new. And today we're doing another installment of the tribal stone series where I'm basically choosing one tribal stone of the breastplate of the Jewish high priest and make a look out of it. So today we're doing the emerald gemstone. And if you like what you're seeing and if you wanted to spend the time with me getting ready, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm ready. I have my little smart thing here and I have my coffee because it's four o'clock in the morning and I just need a coffee. So, <laughs> so let's just have some fun and... Um, you know, get some general information about the um, emerald. So apparently, <laughs> emeralds are mentioned several times in the um, in the Tanakh, which is like our Bible. The gem was one of the Choshen stones. Wow, why is my thing leaving here? Okay, was one of the Choshen stones, the gems adorning the ceremonial breastplate worn by the high priest of the ancient Israelites. And, in and is associated with the tribe of Levi. This is how we say it in Hebrew. I don't know how, maybe it's Levi in English, I don't know. Nevertheless, since none of the Choshen stones are depicted in detail, it is hard to know whether the biblical emerald, emerald is the one we know today. I would really like to know that. <laughs> the emerald birthstone. It's a green gemstone. It's mace birthstone. Oh. <laughs> I get maize birthstone. Emeralds are mined in different sites around the world, but its uniqueness stems from the fact that its shade and the quality of its inclusions can reveal which region of the world it comes from. Is that interesting? <laughs> According to Jewish um, tradition and all of this, the tribe of Levi, which was chosen to serve God in the temple, was given the gem as a sign of their wisdom and devotion. And it also stands for intelligence, for intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we know. Um, there is a whole lot of other information. I don't know if I want to include this because, you know, it's too much. <laughs> uh, it's too early for that. So let's just talk about makeup in connection to the emerald. So what I'm trying to do is today, obviously a green look. Now, emeralds, when you look at pictures and... Um, google emerald pictures then you will find that most of them will have like a cool undertone they all have like a shift of black or a shift of dark blue and like a silvery kind of a sheen am i explaining this right <laughs> there are very very few that have a warm undertone like a yellow kind of a undertone so how i'm going to do this i want to take two of my palettes. One is again the Hasina 2 that I featured the other day. And the other one, uh, this is from Blush Tribe by the way, I just, let me show you the baby because, uh, yeah, remember this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the other one is from uh, Too Faced. It's the chocolate gold because, girls, <laughs> there is a very, very nice green in this palette. <laughs> um, I'm covering it up. Look at this one this this is a nice green so what i want to do with this palette today is <laughs> it's actually funny you know if you are looking for the perfect palette that is a neutral palette with pops of colors then this is your your friend because if you take the purple and the pink and the green away you basically have a very neutral classy palette the uh, only my dilemma with this palette is that the only mattes that I have here are very neutral. And um, that's why I'm pairing it up with this palette because I have gorgeous, gorgeous, colorful mattes here. So I want to use this uh, green, obviously, and this silvery shimmer here, and the black, probably, and probably this one also, just for blending. And... <laughs> Of this one, I want to use this shade Re and the shade Mahia and maybe Jade and Erin. It depends. It depends how I feel, how it looks, you know. So let's just go with the flow and see 
how it all works out. Okay, I have done my eyebrows and tight lining and my all prep, all the prep work <laughs> off camera. And now I'm just going to use this shade right here. It's rolling in dough and I will just dab this under my eyebrows just a tiny little bit, but really just keep it up there because the other shades that I want to put on, they need a tacky surface. So this I'm just doing in order to make the blending upwards a little bit easier afterwards. Once we get to that point. Oh, I'm so shiny. <laughs> okay, my friends. Now let's go in with this shade, Re. I don't really know about the placement yet. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Leora, now it's the time to make a decision. <laughs> Okay, like if I'm a little bit silly today, that's just because I want to be, <laughs> okay? So you just have to go with the flow. This is not a tutorial anyway. I just really want to put on makeup and and just feel relaxed about it. So, so that's what it is. <laughs> okay, for now I'm just putting down this beautiful teal kind of a shade. <laughs> Um, here in the outer corners, but not on the lid, but above the crease. And then we will see. <laughs> now this looks really spectacular. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The other day in my makeup academy, we had to create a, like a real funky, crazy look like this. And I ended up having zigzags on my eyelids. It was really not normal. <laughs> okay, let me just use this shade now and Take that to the inner part of my crease and then we, sh we shall see if we get a nice gradient of, you know, all kinds of emerald colors. <laughs> uh, I just can't talk, it's too early. <laughs> I don't know what it is about greens. They are so soothing. Uh, when I'm looking at this, the mixture between Re and Mahia, it's just so, I don't know, what is it? What is it about greens that makes you feel so like calm and I could wear monochromatic green looks every single day, I, I promise you. So now let's make it more monochromatic <laughs> and let's take this, this lighter green, Erin, and just blend that out towards the top. So while I'm trying to blend this out because these shades are so pigmented, it's so, um, let me just talk a little bit about my thoughts about that breastplate. You know, I've been thinking <laughs> this breastplate of the high priest, that must have been one heavy piece of jewelry. And I do actually believe that it was a piece of jewelry, uh, like an adornment, right? So it doesn't really make sense though, because why would anyone wear something that heavy on your chest? So, and there is where my thought comes in. Have you ever had an anxiety attack? <laughs> yeah. Um, if you did, then you know how it feels to have a very, very heavy weight on your chest, weighing down on your chest and pressing down. And I think that this whole thing of them having to wear this press plate and the stones of, of every tribe being on this press plate, that they were actually carrying the weight of the whole, like the spiritual weight of the whole, the whole crowd of all the tribes of the whole people on their chest and that makes me like how how can a person ever carry that kind of a weight i mean okay so the high priest in any religion would have the spiritual responsibility for the whole nation right so that is something for me that is beyond belief how a person can carry this kind of a responsibility and, and weight on their chest. Um, but I do know that there are people 
that in their in their character and in, in the way they have been made they are priests they are born for this so my best friend that i keep mentioning she is one like this she is a priestess <laughs> And she carries, actually, when, when people turn to her and, and um, share with her sorrows and whatever, she actually carries that in such an amazing manner. It's, I would promote her in my kingdom to become the priestess. <laughs> I really like how this is coming together very much. I'm very excited where this is going, actually, because I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a fluffier brush in this teal blue shade again because this is actually very close to the shade that I saw in the stones. But basically probably a mixture between these two. Um, and I'm going to take just a fluffier brush and just dab it on here a little bit more to create like a something. <laughs> Is anyone enjoying this as much as I do? I'm just, you know, I'm just sitting here having the best time of my life. <laughs> I think next we should do black. Should we do black? I think that's what we'll do. Um, and I'm going to use the black from the Too Faced palette because I've never used that black. <laughs> so I think today would be a good day to use a new shade on camera. <laughs> just a tiny little bit because also in the stones there is just a hint of black right so we don't want to overdo it very nice very good pigmentation like it okay now we're getting to for me for the for me personally, this is now the most exciting part, and that is using this shade. And I'm going to use my finger, as I always do, with the shimmery shades. <laughs> and we shall see. I think I'm going to skip that light green shimmer from the Hasina palette, from the other palette. Because I don't think we need that in that look. I think it would be nicer just to have this the darkness. And now I want to use this shade. It's a silver. It's called Drippin' Diamonds, <laughs> which is so fitting for a tribal stone series. And I will place that at the inner corner. Is anyone liking this? <laughs> I do. I really, really, really do. I mean, I'm really liking this. Okay, I think I'm going to just take a dab more of this black from the Too Faced palette and just blend this a little bit more here. And then I'm ready for the under eye area. I think for my lower lash line, I want to bring back the bluish kind of a undertone again. So I think I'm going to use an eyeliner pencil from Essence that is called Cool Down and it's like a dark blue and a eyeliner pencil from Jade that I have not tried yet. It is called Green Quartz. Very beautiful color. So I'm going to keep the green in the inner side and then blend it out into the dark blue. So this is how far I've gotten. I really, really like it. I can't wait to finish it off. And I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to come back with a finished look because I also want to do a very nice under eye area. And I think I'm going to use for that because like I said, I want to bring back that bluish hue. <laughs> how do you say it? Hue? Hue? <laughs> And I will use this one again, the reshade from the Hasina palette and just really smoke it out. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. This is a matte foundation, a matte foundation. Really? <laughs> like, hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leora, really, any help? 
a mad foundation look at my forehead it's ridiculous now in general this foundation is really really nice i have just started using that um it's the fit me from maybelline uh, matte matte and poreless um it is a very nice and also affordable foundation but my forehead i don't know You know, I have to tune you in before I finish the look because I'm enjoying my swiveling chair, which is new. <laughs> I got that from my husband. <laughs> so, no, not because of that. I just put this shade that I said, Re, on my lower lash line. And I do think that I want to actually take the blue, the dark blue, and blend it out with dark blue. What do you think? Should I do that? Is anyone here to answer me? <laughs> Why am I always alone? <sighs> I'm gonna do it, <laughs> okay? Where is this? I want my Fire Topaz. Where is my Fire Topaz lipstick? Where are you? It's not Fire Topaz, it's Fire Opal. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> okay, we're all finished. <laughs> I must say, I love this look. I don't know about you. <laughs> I love it. And I can't wait to show my family. <laughs> I'm totally spent and exhausted, which is funny because my kids haven't gotten up yet. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna say, but you know, quite honestly, they're probably just going to say, okay, so it's Thursday. <laughs> they only know me like that and that's fine. So my final thoughts, first of all, first of all, I just have to say that I love this palette. It is so, so me. And I, I just want to put something out there, you know, blush tribe. <laughs> if you ever care to see my videos or anything, I want to challenge you <laughs> because everybody who knows me knows that I live for these kind of colors or for every color, right? So I want to challenge you to bring out a palette with me, <laughs> a palette about gemstones, a palette about tribal stones, a palette about royalty, a palette about all of these things. So I'm waiting for your email. I'm here for you. <laughs> And I just, I love this look. So what can I do? I'm gonna try to get back to my travel stone series once a month and just have some fun putting on makeup, right? So uh, that's what we'll do. If you think that this could be possibly a place where you would like to stick around, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Leave me your comments and your questions in the comment section. Um, I'll be there, <laughs> you know, and uh, all the information in detail about the makeup and about everything you will find it in the description box. Also, of course, all the information about my other social media where you can see more about my makeup and my, stop it, uh, all about my clothes and like not all about my clothes, but you know, my outfits. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I really had fun today because it was just, you know, the relaxed kind of friend zone video. I, I really like that. So, <laughs> and plus I got to end up looking really, really nice. <laughs> so in case you are interested in seeing more then to stick around. Other than that, I want to invite you to come back for my next video, which will be on Monday and it will be another wrapping tutorial and it's gonna be gorgeous. Up until then, Go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.